Mall concept part 1 In everyday life we buy things in terms of numbers such as dozen for 12 score for 20 or gross for 144 or weight such as kilogram or quintal etc For example we buy eggs in dozen bananas in dozen and wheat in kilogram but atoms and molecules are too small they cannot even be seen under microscope so how can we count or weigh atoms Willem Oswald introduced a bigger unit for expressing a definite amount of a chemical substance that is mole one mole of a substance is defined as that amount of substance which contains the same number of particles, atoms, ions or molecules as there are atoms in exactly 12 gram of carbon 12. Experimentally, it has been found that 0.12 kg of carbon 12 contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 of carbon 12. This number is known as Avogadro's number. It is represented by N naught. Avogadro's number is equal to N naught is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 particles. So one mole of a substance is the amount of the substance which contains 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 particles. One mole of carbon atoms is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 carbon atoms. One mole of oxygen atoms is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 oxygen atoms. One mole of oxygen molecules is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 molecules of oxygen. One mole of water molecules is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 molecules of water. One mole of carbon dioxide molecules is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 molecules of carbon dioxide. One mole of sodium ions is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 ions of sodium. As one dozen is equal to 12 articles, one mole of anything is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 particles. It may be atoms, molecules or ions. The advantage of a mole over a dozen or a gross is that the mass of one mole of a particular substance is always fixed.